DIY boom boxes in Texas. And look what we have here. The mega boom box is done. I am so happy. Oh, I love this thing. I've worked so hard on this box. This has been the hardest project I have ever, ever done. Um, it was a lot of work. I started saving up for it five months ago, buying the parts bit by bit as I could afford them, and working on weekends. It took me four weeks to at least get everything done, got the grills painted, and all the wiring done on the inside, and all the stuff that's on the back with the antenna and the charging port. And I'm going to show you all that in just a minute. As you can see, the radio up here, it looks, I mean, it blows me away. I hope it blows you away as well. Looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions. People have seen it online asking me, why do I have so many switches? Well, there's a lot going on inside this box. A lot. Uh, we have batteries. There's a power supply. There's a relay. There's a separate fan the amplifier, the voltage booster, a lot of things going on in this box. So let me tell you what we got going on over here. Now this switch right here trips the relay. Now what the relay does, as I explained in my other videos about relays, is you cannot have the power supply and the batteries tied together on the same circuit. What's going to happen is as soon as you turn on that power supply, the voltage is going to go from the power supply to the batteries and it's going to try to charge the batteries, which is power supply is not designed to do. So when that happens, you're going to ruin your batteries and you're going to ruin your power supply, which is not a good thing. So you put a relay in the circuit. So the power supply will come in one side, the batteries come in the other, and when the relay is turned off, right now in the on, off position, the batteries are controlling everything. I could turn everything on right now and run on battery power. As soon as you flip this switch, as long as the power supply is on, it'll switch over to power supply, which I mean switch that over right now. Now the second switch that we have right here, that actually turns on the radio itself. So I have a, I have a separate switch just for the radio because I have a noise filter hooked up for the radio because of the fan. I was getting some bleed over from the fan. So I put a noise uh, filter, like you get that wine from your alternator, it's the same thing. Uh, you get that noise through your speakers. So that's why I put it on a separate switch. The third switch over here is for the voltage booster, and the voltage booster turns on the amplifier. The amplifier runs on 38 volts. So since you only have 12 volts coming out, the 12 volts goes into the voltage booster and it's on this side of the box. And then the wires go over here to the amp on this side of the box, which I'll show you the inside in a few minutes. And that turns on the amplifier as well. So they're both wired together. So that's why I have a separate switch for that. The fourth switch over right here actually turns on the fan. Now I wired the fan directly to just the batteries and I did that because I was trying to eliminate the noise going to the radio itself and it helped a little bit but it, it's still there but the noise filter is helping it out. But I've got two batteries total of 18 amp hours so that, that fan could run for a week and it wouldn't drain the battery so I'm not worried about draining the battery. And the last switch here controls up front here the USB port, the 12 volt socket, and the voltage gauge there. As you can see right there, turn it on. You can see the voltage coming on. And uh, it just works great. And you can see I've got a cord running right here, and I'm going to show you the back of the box in just a minute and show you what's going on with that. Fact, let me get up and turn it around here. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on the box here so you can see things a little bit better. And this box weighs 40 pounds. So, oh, it's quite heavy. Oh. All right. As you can see right here, we have a master switch. There's actually a fuse inside this switch where the cord plugs into. And this switch turns on and off the power supply. We have this uh, port tube here. It's doing two functions. Number one, it's porting the box a little bit, but also there's a lot of things in this box that are giving off heat. We have the voltage booster over here. 
We also have the power supply, which is here, and you have the amplifier over here, and the fan's at an angle, which is blowing the air back this way, and all that heat needs to come out of the box. Now, right here, this is our connection where we charge our battery. What you do is you hook your battery charger clamps to right here, and that's how you charge the batteries back up. And, of course, we have the antenna. Now, let me tell you what, let me turn this around a little bit so you can see this thing actually lit up. And uh, let me see how it looks on the camera here. That looks pretty good. Let me just turn a little bit. Now, I'm not going to do a sound check right now because what I want to do is I want to do two separate songs on two separate videos. So this video right here is just showcasing the build. And then we're going to have two sound checks, our sound test videos. Sound test video one, sound test video two. And this way, in case YouTube decides to delete those videos, like they did with the Taylor Swift video that I did, I won't lose the whole video itself. You'll still get to see the Mega Boombox. So, let me just at least turn it on for you and show what it looks like. Okay, now there's the switch turning on the power supply, or the relay. There's the radio itself, the amplifier, the fan. And there's the display. And of course we have a commercial, wouldn't you know it. Anyway, you can hear a little bit of a, a hum there, not much, but once the music is on, I really, really can't hear it. And it does have a CD player. Uh, it's got the input for the flash drive or thumb drive. It's got another input right here for a eighth inch pl plug and it does have Bluetooth and I think it's absolutely amazing. Let me see how this looks on camera. Looks fantastic. Alright everybody, let me uh, pause this real quick. I'm going to move the camera, show you what the inside looks like. And I'll Hey right everybody, back. we're back and look who joined us. It's Duke. Hi Duke. How you doing? You knew Duke had to be around here somewhere, and he knew we were filming, so here he came. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the inside of the box real quick. Uh, we'll start up here at the top, and you can see where all the switches come in, and they come down through these wire clips that I have here. And as you can see, they roll down just like that. Duke, what are you doing? He's trying to put a scent on the box. Of course, there's our kicker, six by nines. We have in the top. You see the wires here, and you can see more of the wires as they loop down. And we come down here, and there's our relay that switches back and forth between the power supply and the booster. And there's the voltage booster right there, which takes us from 12 volts to 24, I mean, to 40, 30, 38 volts, pardon me, and of course, there's Duke. Alright, you can see right there, there's one of the 12 volt batteries sitting below the base port there. There's the back of the radio. Uh, you can see the RCA jacks that are right there. And you can see the, kind of see the power supply down there. It's uh, covered by the radio. And you can see the fan for it right there and of course there's one of the fuses that fuse there is actually for the fan and this fuse here protects everything coming off the relay and of course there's the 14 pin relay there's the noise suppressor I was telling you about and if we follow the wires over here there's the other 9 amp hour 12 amp hour battery of course there's Duke and coming over here, you can see the fan. Let me see if we get a better shot of it. Right there. And the fan is facing our amplifier. And there is our four channel, 400 watt amplifier. So there's what the inside of the mega boom box looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put the camera back and I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. And, of course, you can see Duke, he's probably blocking the camera right now. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, next 48 hours, I'm going to have two videos up 
for sound test number one and sound test number two of the Mega Boom Box. I'm thinking about doing it outside, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I might do it right here in my dining room. And uh, so thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel in the next past few days. And if you'd like to join us, if you're a builder yourself, or if you'd like me to build you something, you, you can see the quality of my work here. I, I have uh, my work in six different states. Or if you're a builder and you would like some advice on how to work on your own project, or you can give others some advice that you've been working with your project, and you just want to hang out with other builders, please join us on our Facebook page, I Love All Things Radio. It's a great place to hang out. If you love radio, podcasting, anything to do with audio, we're, we're, we're talking about there at I Love All Things Radio. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and see my builds and see my pictures that I post, it's DIY underscore Bill. I mean, boom, part, let me start that over. Because this dude got me messed up. Uh, DIY underscore Boom underscore Boxes. That's my Instagram page. I got pictures of all my builds and all my progress and things like that. So, thanks for watching, everybody, for Duke. My name is Phil, DIY Boom Boxes in Texas, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Duke. Say bye. Kitty, 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 kitty. Say bye, Duke. Oh, big stretch.